what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here since so talking about several different topics in this video here again today we're talking about terrifier 2 orphan 3 don't breathe 3 and halloween ends now just to kick it off with terrifier 2 terrifier 2 is coming to theaters on october 6th we just got a release date announced today this is coming to us from bloody disgusting and we also got a new trailer now i'm not sure if this october 6th date is going to be when it will also arrive on Screenbox because we know that's a part of the release plan as well from bloody disgusting uh, we found that out a couple weeks ago but the trailer that they just released makes the film seem very promising in terms of delivering a film that's giving you a better a, giving you better developed characters a much stronger final girl to root for and grow attached to in the character of sienna and her brother named jonathan that i think many people myself included will be more interested in jonathan that being because he's obsessed with art the clown we find this out in the trailer apparently uh he's just been infatuated with the events and it seems like it's a little bit of intrigue as as well as fear that art is still out there and art is going to return to the town as we know he's going to do so the trailer did highlight a cool alley shot that gave me vibes from the original nightmare on elm street when we know freddie stalked tina and i'm excited for the movie and tickets aren't available just yet but there's a place you can enroll to be uh, notified when they do go on sale and i'll leave a link to that in the description all in all this trailer for terrifier 2 uh i'm, I'm very excited for it i'm very excited for what damien leone is going to do i'm very excited at what this bonkers finale game changing finale is going to be i think we're seeing shades of that in the trailer too when we see sienna battling art the clown uh thornton looks like he's delivering once again another menacing goofy terrifying performance as this deranged killer so can't wait to see felissa rose and see all these other different factors that go into what hopefully ends up being one of my favorite horror movies of the year so just to jump into the next topic of discussion orphan 3 orphan 3 is something that isabel Furman is down for if this latest prequel proves to be a success and if the script for the third outing is good she revealed this recently when speaking with variety she stated that i know alex mace who, who was one of the producers on the recent movie i think alex mace had talked to me about doing a third one and if the script is good and if people love this one then why not she then went on to just talk about how it's easier to play a younger character in your 20s uh versus waiting another decade or so and then william brent bell who we know directed orphan 2 or orphan first kill i'll call it stated that he wouldn't return if isabel didn't do it and i think that's something he had a mindset about going into this original movie he did not want to do this prequel if isabel wasn't back uh, and it's nice to know that Isabel Furman herself is back is down to do a third movie if it came to it. I will again say that the highlight of Orphan First Kill was the ability for her to jump right back into this character as if no time had passed. Obviously, there's some clear signs that time had did pass, of course, but she she just gave another brilliant performance as the character. I would even go as far as saying that she did she was better in this movie versus the original. Uh, one of the true highlights of Orphan First kill even though there are some other things but i know you guys heard my review i wasn't the biggest fan of the movie it wasn't a complete train wreck i did i did record that review and at the time i did say maybe i was being too generous with the six out of ten i don't think i was being too generous the movie overall was very solid it just had some hiccups along the way and that twist really did take me out of the movie so this these new details that william disclosed came during an episode of the boo crew podcast but he continued to say that there's over 30 years of esther's life that could be explored and even suggested doing a sequel to the first film could be easy we know esther died at the end of that first movie but i guess he's willing to reveal that she actually survived by having her hand come out of the water to start the movie we'll see how that goes if that even becomes a thing jumping into halloween halloween ends halloween ends has a new poster showcasing michael and Lori ready for their battle ready for their final battle jamie lee curtis has also revealed in a new video that was released today that halloween ends will go to theaters as well as peacock on the same day now on october 14th so following the strategy for halloween kills and i've seen the discussions already about this so far and i'm i'm not shocked well i am shocked that they did this again but not but i'm not all that concerned with this entry's performance since it is intended to be their last one um i get to talk about them throwing away money if you think that and everything but if they want to throw it away then go for it i mean i'm not i'm not even going to be seeing this movie the traditional manner the first time i watch it i'm going to 
use my Stubbs membership to go watch it any other time after the first time I see it, but I'll be watching it in theaters for the first time. I'm sure many of you are excited about this because you get to watch from the comfort of your home now as well. But again, I'm going to do a separate video talking about this new news because I've also seen the idea tossed around that this new poster that came out that I'm going to address in a video again is that this isn't even Michael in the poster with Lori, but that it's Corey. Uh, and again, I'm going to dive into that a little bit more in a separate video to share my thoughts on all of that. Uh, I can't wait for Halloween ends. I am very reserved for the quality of it. Uh, I am just kind of like, okay, this is going to be the worst one of the trilogy, but I'm still excited to see if this movie can end up being better than I think it's actually going to be. Because so far, I think it's going to be a d big disappointment, but I am excited to see how they just wrap it all up at the end of the day. So when it comes to this last topic, Don't Breathe 3, Don't Breathe 3 is not confirmed I don't think there's been an announcement about it. This is coming to us from Fandom Wire, who is stating that Don't Breathe, Don't Breathe 3 is potentially in development, uh, according to them. But there's been no concrete evidence of it so far. So, again, I'll say take this with a grain of salt. If you're someone who was a fan of that original movie with Dylan Minnette and Stephen Lang, who we know returned for the second movie, Compared to the first movie, the second movie was a decline. It was a decline. Stephen Lang, again, was another highlight, but there's a lot of directions that go... The, the direction of that second movie, I just find it hard to believe that this is, the, this is the sequel that they were saying was the good idea. I almost want to convince myself that they were talking about a different script and they weren't talking about the second movie that we actually got. If they were to do a Don't Breathe 3, if you're someone who didn't stick around after the credits, here comes a spoiler. At the very end, we do see a tease that suggests that Stephen Lang's character of the blind man, I think his name is Norman X, Actually, I might be mistaken is still alive but if he returns for don't breathe 3 I'm very curious to see what they do with this movie uh, do I think a don't breathe 3 is necessary not really I know a lot of you myself included didn't think a sequel was necessary but if they put it out there I'm down to just experience this movie only because I, I do like the character of the blind man in terms of what we got in the original movie because with the second one he's got, just gone off the rails at this point but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description I'll have links to my social media accounts on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video